on again guys welcome back to the episode of e-train games i'm your host the e-train and today i'll be doing my pickups video of the week now sorry i didn't do it uh the day it happened i was really busy with work and i had a couple of the guys over playing games and whatnot but uh so i'd do it today have time uh so i'll just jump right into it all right so we'll do this deck so i got a couple original xbox games good titles uh been looking for these for a while. Uh, I got Kingdom Under Fire, uh, the Crusaders. Uh, a lot of stickers on the front. I'm trying to take these off, but they're not coming up off. Uh, I might just have to throw a different case. It is complete as well with the manual. I always love that. Uh, definitely a fun RPG. Uh, one of my favorite racing games of all time, Burnout Revenge. Uh, it is complete as well with the manual, uh, which is good for me because my copy of the Xbox version just broke like last month, so I've been looking for another copy. Uh, another Xbox One, Xbox One, <laughs> original Xbox. Uh, always loved this game as a kid. Uh, the Dead or Alive series, or uh, Dead or Alive 3, I should say, uh, for the Xbox. Um, as complete as well with the manual. Uh, it's pretty funny when I, uh, I didn't open this yet, but uh, I noticed that there was a cheap, a little uh, cheat sheet. Uh, in here is a bunch of different cheat codes and stuff on it so uh, I thought that was pretty funny when I opened it up so uh, definitely good series I love the Dead or Alive series games they uh, they get pretty pretty intense sometimes uh, and the last one here been looking for this for a while uh, they made a couple more after this but it's a actually a spin-off game from the Dead or Alive series and that would be Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. Uh, all they really did was they took the girls from Dead or Alive 3 and they put them like in this erotic-ish type of beach volleyball game. I don't know. I I just saw previews for it one day. So um, it is complete as well with, with the, the manual. Um, I played a little bit of it and most of it is just little party games. Like nothing really too spectacular. But they made multiple series afterwards so... Uh, I think there's another one on the Xbox, but I don't know if I can find it because it's pretty high in value. Um, so that's it with the Xbox stuff. Right, let's move this over here. Okay, uh, the one PS2 game I got. Uh, great game. I heard about it, but didn't really think I was going to get it. And then a friend told me uh, that it's really good and I should get it. So I decided to do it, and that would be Manhunt. Uh, the first Manhunt on the PS2. Um, it's not complete. Uh, just the disc. I'm a little upset, but it's not too bad. Um, just uh, Rockstar really went out on this one like crazy. It's like playing GTA 5 just a hundred times worse. <laughs> uh, or any GTA game. It's pretty high up there and gruesome and whatnot. But uh, it's definitely a pretty good game. And actually, fun fact about that. This game is actually banned in like almost every country of the world. Like, that's how bad it is. Except for America, obviously. So, I don't know what we're thinking. But, uh, anyway. Um, Alright, I guess I'll show you these now. Uh, two Game Boy cases. Uh, I'm on the hunt for these. I have a lot of Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. I'm going to put these in cases. So, um, I started to do that with my other games now. I'm starting to get cases for them. So, on the lookout for these. They were like 50 cents a piece. So, I grabbed the last two that were there. Um, let's see. I guess I'll do the Game Boy stuff. Uh, I got Pokemon Pinball on the... I think it's the Game Boy Color, I think. I'm not really sure. I think it's the Game Boy Color. Um, you have to put a battery in it and stuff. Um, I never really played this version. I've only heard of it. Um, and apparently this has a rumble feature. Uh, oh yeah, it says on the back, rumble. So... It was pretty cool playing pinball on it rumbles and stuff so um the label is a little screwed up at the top but i don't really care about that i'm fine with that um pretty fun um it's not really hard to find they're pretty easy to find um all right so in the original game boy i got f1 race uh with this stupid alec b whoever you are running it all over the game but f1 race uh fun multiplayer game um, and just fun just by yourself. Uh, someone did a, a video on it, and uh, it actually looked pretty fun, so I decided to pick it up. I think I got it for like a dollar, I think. <laughs> and the last game I got is Bomberman Max 2 uh, Blue Advance. Uh, this was, um, there's actually two games of this. Um, 
I don't really know much about the Bomberman games on the Game Boy, because um, I'm more familiar with the 64 and the NES and stuff. Um, but I think this was like a Pokemon, like Sapphire and Fire Red. Um, they were like the same game, but like they were split. So this game actually has another one, and I think uh, I don't know what his name is. I think it begins with a T. I think, but it's actually Red. It's like it's called Bomberman Max Two. Red Advance, and it has someone else but Bomberman. And it's basically just Bomberman. You know, run around, throw bombs down and whatnot. But uh, I got the blue one. Now I'm on the hunt for the red one. Uh, the red one's actually more rare uh, than the blue one, obviously. So, But uh, definitely good. I got that for 5 bucks, I think, or 6 bucks, something like that. So happy to have that, finally. Um, let's see here. I guess go with this one. Ugh. So, finally got it on the Super Nintendo. Finally happy. Try to fight this game since forever, but finally got it. Super Mario World. Come on, you knew it was coming. Uh, the one Mario game, you know, you're supposed to have with a Super Nintendo. I didn't have it. <laughs> so, but I'm finally happy. I finally got a copy. And uh, apparently who had this beat the whole game. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> they have the star thing and everything. It's crazy. So, but, you know, I'm finally happy to have it. I've been looking for that for a long time now. For a good price. I think I got for mm, 20 bucks, I think, so, which is not too bad. I see and go for worse. Alright, uh, I guess we'll do this. Uh, two NES games, uh, good games, uh, finally, uh, been wanting these. I got Yoshi's Cookie on the NES. I finally have the Super Nintendo, the, orig the original Nintendo, and the Game Boy version. So I have all three versions of the game. Um, I always like doing that, getting all the versions of every console, uh, you know, it's just something fun I like doing, so. But, uh, I finally got this one. I got it for, I think it was $10, this one. I was a little surprised at that, but I think it was 10 And the last one on the NES, which is another one I've been looking for for a while, and I love the art on this one, but it's called Friday 13th. Uh, Destroy Jason if you can. Uh, the label is a little screwed up at the corner, but I'm okay with that. Um, I don't really know much about this game. All I know is that you... Like, you're like this person on, like, on this campsite, and you have to kill Jason. That's basically all it is. You just try to kill Jason. I've never heard of it, but I've... Well, I've actually I've heard of it, but I've never actually seen any gameplay of it. So I'm actually a little interested in how this game is going to play out. So I might try it out later. Alright, so uh, I guess I'll show you these. Uh, two 64 games. Uh, finally can add these two to my collection. Uh, the first one is Turok Rage Wars. Uh, it is in a plastic case. Um, I decided to put all my games in plastic cases. I had another video of had that on there. And um, so I finally got that one. Uh, and it has the label on the top. Uh, so much glare, I'm sorry. So it has a label on it. So when it stacks in there, I can see what it's called. So I got Turok Rage Wars. Um, and the last one, which is actually a pretty rare game um, for the 64, but I got Battlezone Rise of the black dogs uh it was a pc port it has another label on the top it was a pc port and uh i heard it actually holds up pretty well um i never actually played it myself so i'm very happy to have that one in my collection finally uh let's see three ps1 games uh all of them very good games i'll show you this one i got vigilante 8 second offense it was the sequel to the original i now have both um it's not complete, however. Um, I mean, it is complete. I'm sorry, this thing... I accidentally broke this by mistake, so... Um, oh, well. Uh, it's mostly complete. It's missing the back art and the side. Uh, so I'm a little pissed at that. But uh, it has the manual and the disc, and they're both in good condition. So, you know, maybe I might find the backing or something. I don't know. I might just leave it as it is. I have no idea yet. Uh, another good game. This game is really starting to go up in price now. I'm very surprised. But it's uh, Donald Duck Going Quackers on the PlayStation. It is complete as well. Um, and here's the back. So um, I think the only version I'm missing is the 64 version. I have the Game Boy Color and I have the PS1 version. And uh, from what I heard, the 64 version is actually a lot more because this game was like $15 by itself. So, yeah, I think the 64 goes for like 25 or something now. It's ridiculous. Um, and the last one, love this game. I've been, actually been playing it the last couple nights now, and I, I love every second of it. But I got 
Bomberman Party Edition on the PS1. Uh, there it is, complete. I love the disc, how it looks like that. I always love that. And I'll show you the back right now. So, um, you can actually put a multi-tap. Uh, you can put a multi-tap to the PS1. And you can have up to five people, um, which is crazy, especially on a PS1. That's crazy. Um, but like I said, it's a party edition, so it's regular Bomberman, except you can have up to five people, uh, and it will be your friends if you have a multi-tap. So, uh, this game is actually is like 10 or $11 I got or something like that. So, a little higher than I wanted, but hey, I never find it anyway, so. Alright, coming down to the last two. Uh, I finally got some Dreamcast games, finally. <laughs> uh, one of them I, I needed, the other one I'll explain in a minute. I'll show you the one I needed, and that was Raid of Rumble Boxing, the first one. Uh, it is complete. I love the disc too on this one. I'll show you the back as well. It is complete. Um, I now have all the versions. I have the PS1, Dreamcast, and the 64 version. Uh, I actually like this version better uh, than Second Round, um, and I like the Dreamcast version better than both of them because um, that's the one I used to play it on was Dreamcast. So I was very happy to find this. I think I got it for like eight dollars, which is pretty good. So usually a game goes more than that. And yes, the last one, uh, Dreamcast game, uh, it would be Hydro Thunder. Um, now, uh, it is complete as well, let me show you, it is complete, um, with the back. Um, so, funny story is, I already had the copy that I used to play all the time, and, um, there was a problem with it though, uh, if you look through the disc, it has like a burn hole through it, so it would still play. But at times there would be no sound or there would be like the wrong sequence or something like that at times. So it was always jacked up. It still worked though, which is weird, but it, at certain times it just wouldn't. Um, so I decided to get another copy. It was $15 and it kind of took a bite out of me because I didn't really want to pay $15 for this. But I never find it in stores and the one store I did find it, that was the best deal. So I was like, you know what, I better take it. So I finally got it. Um, I still have the other copy though. Um, it's actually in, um, the closet right now. I just put it back there in case something happens to this one or whatever. But, uh, fun racing game. I just did just to replace the one I have because the one I have is in bad shape. Alright, so that's it with everything from the week. And this one I have now is very special to me. I, um, I finally got what I wanted for a long time. And I've always talked about getting, uh, a Game Boy Color... Uh, custom with a light and everything. I've gotten the mail today. Yes, I finally got one. And I will show it to you right now. It's a see-through, see-through, fire red uh, version. Uh, show you in the back and everything. It is see-through. Uh, it's beautiful looking. I love it. There's not a scratch on it. I had it custom made from uh, from someone I bought it off of. And um, actually, I'll show you. Uh, Super Mario Brothers Deluxe right here. And I'll show you just a little bit of the light. I'll turn on for you. Sorry about the glare, but you can tell it does have a light and everything. So, and it works just fine. So, really happy to get this. I've been on the hunt for a color modded, front lit modded. Game Boy Color. So, I finally got one, and it's my favorite color, red. <laughs> so, but that's it, guys. Uh, that's all I've gotten. A lot of great stuff today. Uh, well, today. Well, showing off. <laughs> uh, a lot of good stuff, and I'm very happy for all of this. A uh, lot of them knocked out a lot of good ones on my list that cost me a pretty penny, but, you know, I had to get them sooner or later. So, but thanks, you guys, for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'd love to hear what you guys say about this. Um... I play PS4. Um, I'll leave my name down below. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I always post pictures uh, of when I get stuff or when I get stuff throughout the week and whatnot. And uh, thanks again, guys. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.